candied ginger. Yesterday when I went shopping, I stopped at Whole Foods. Trader Joe's says they have it too, but I don't want it in chunks. I like it in strips. But uh, Whole Foods has candied ginger. They, it's sliced and then put into sugar. As it ages, it gets really hard and tough and you gotta chew it like, like fruit leather. But now these are real soft. And they're good. It's good for your stomach. Uh, do we have upset stomach? It's good for your breath. It probably has other good properties. Sunday, Sunday, be there. What did I do today? Well, I mowed half the grass. I cut up a bunch of the pile of big sticks, put it all on a log thingy. Um, I made beet soup going to be eaten cold. It's beets and cucumber, a little dill, a little tiny bit of onion, and buttermilk. Simple. That's all it is. And you, I put it in the food processor, ground it all up, and you eat it cold. I have two big servings of that. It's in the fridge. And I made vegetable beef stew. Two big servings of that, and I ate part of it. I heated it up, but then I let it cool. So it was warm, not hot. I uh, didn't get a whole lot done in the house at all. I did some laundry, had that hanging outside. There is a, like a tent peg and rope holding the one end of the la uh, laundry line so that it doesn't, it's like this and that if it gets too heavy, this one's really strong steel. This one was something I had to buy at a Kmart or something. This one kind of bends in like this. I have a rope tied up here and it's staked into the ground to hold it up and that stake had rotted so I have to replace that. There's a platform I want to make for this recliner chair behind me. It's on a platform but I want to make one that's two inches taller before Brian and Ashley come in because it's just easier to get up out of the chair when it's not so low. This furniture is too low to the ground for me because it's hard to get up. The rooms around in here, no, I haven't done nothing. I have done nothing. I have done nothing. I need to do something. So I'll finish the grass in the morning before it gets hot, and then I'll do the inside stuff. Try to get the any repairs that I need to do with anything sewn up. Put the, uh, the sewing machine away, and clean up and vacuum, and... If I need to buy anything, well, I was thinking of getting a little bouquet of flowers and putting it in their room. Just kind of a nicety. Is that a word? I don't know. And I'll get those like Wednesday. Anything that I need to get at the last moment, I'll get Wednesday. And then park the cart side of the house because they're renting, he's renting a truck or something, something larger so that we all can fit in it. Something that has air conditioning and everything works on it. So, um, yeah, I expected to have all this done weeks ago and I just always kept feeling crappy. I just hope I'm feeling good for the next couple days because they come in Wednesday night. Tomorrow's put the trash out night. So I'm going to carve up the watermelon so I can throw the rind away. And uh, anything around here that needs to be pitched, I, that's what a good old clean tomorrow and pitching and stuff. I have things around here though that I don't know what to do with and I don't know where to put. So that will be a brainstorming thing tomorrow. I can't wait to, to have it presentably clean and then I will walk around and show you what the house looks like. Sort of. Kind of. And I want to give Thrall's litter box a good clean. Empty it out all the way and bleach it out and have it sitting out in the sun and and just clean, clean, clean. Yeah. Well, how long have I blithered on? See, I'm used to putting them up here. And here they are. 
Ooh, five minutes. Well, I'm going to stop here. I also printed up the Death Star. I'm going to paint it up on this pizza round thing. It's part of the decorations for Steve's bachelor party. Oh, God. It's going to be all over before I know it, and I'll be saying goodbye to them. Can't wait till they come in. I'm so excited to see Brian and Ashley. Yay! Upward and onward.